For the circuit Python Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can use the light sensor inside of the circuit playground library. Circuit Playground Library makes it really easy to use your Circuit Playground Blue Fruit or your Circuit Playground Express with really high level commands. In this case, I wanna use the little onboard light sensor. So what I'm gonna do is take my little flashlight here and shine it at the little light sensor that's built onto the Circuit Playground. And you can see as I increase and decrease the amount of light hitting that, we can plot that value right here in the uh, Moo plotter. If I open up the serial output, you can see we have these units. They're not any particular unit. They're not lux or nits or anything like that. But you can see here, I'm just simply measuring that and outputting a value and then plotting it to the graph. Now, if you take a look at my code, uh, the way this works, the simple demo works, really all I've got to do is import from Adafruit Circuit Playground. I'm importing CP. That's the Circuit Playground library. And that means I have access to everything on board, including cp.light. That's all you need to do. If you ask for the value of cp.light, it returns that value. Now, if I wanna do something a little bit uh, snazzier here, what I'm gonna do is take that value and turn it into a sort of light meter using NeoPixels. So you can see here, we've got one NeoPixel lit up. If I take my flashlight, and shine it at the circuit playground blue fruit, we're getting a little meter there. I'm gonna turn this to a, a less bright setting on my flashlight, that helps for you to see those. Uh, you can see that those NeoPixels are lighting up based on the read. And in this case, it's the same thing. I'm just simply getting that cp.light value, but I'm turning it into a remapped value that can tell the NeoPixels 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 whether or not they're gonna light up. And then depending on that peak value, we go ahead and set those in this case to a red at 40, 0, 0. And then uh, when they're not at that value, we set them back down to zero so that they kind of erase as we go backwards. That is how you can use the Circuit Playground library inside of Circuit Python to read the onboard light sensor. And that is your Circuit Python Parsec.